the pressure of air inside your tires change with the change of temperature. They might go up, they might go down, depending on what the temperature does. So, for baseline, we'll start with a measurement midday on the tire. And we've got here, uh, on the cold side of the tire, that's the temperature in Celsius, that's in Fahrenheit, that, but the warm side of the tire is significantly warmer. There, that's the temperature on the warm side. That's the same number in Fahrenheit, 77. And let's see what the pressure is inside the tire. In uh, about 10 hours time, and no, I don't have a flat tire, but at dawn or whatever, when it's cold in the morning, I'm gonna check the temperature again. No, and the pressure in the tire. And we'll see what happens to the pressure. Right now it's 37.5. I know it's flat, it should be around 42, but that's another question. But this pressure will change when the temperature in the morning drops. You'll see that this pressure is also gonna drop quite significantly. Let's just do one more measurement, because one, one take is not enough. All right, so 38 or 37 and a half. Okay, let's do a third one. Yeah, 38. Okay, so we'll see how the pressure changes when uh, the temperature is being lowered. All right, we've got some frost here happening. Let's take a look at the temperature. Oh yeah. Minus 14 degrees Celsius and 7 degrees, 6.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, negative 14. All right, that's cold enough. No, it's not super cold. It just, you know, <sighs> drop down a little bit. Let's see the tire. Okay, the tire is negative 8 degrees Celsius and 16 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's see the difference in temperature. I'm gonna put you on this tripod here. And let's see what we've got for tire pressure. Inside the tire, the air contracts when it's cold, when it, cool, uh, when it cools down, and the Rubber also contracts when it cools down, but which one contracts more? There, the pressure is 33.9 psi. So, whatever difference you see in pressure, that's directly as the air and tire cool down, and how those two cooling effects balance each other. That's the result of. Let's just take another measurement. Just double check it. Yeah, 33.9 it is. Okay, so that's how that looks.